the Super Heavy record, um, it, it was a very creative, like, just mishmash of sounds. So I think, for me, I really like it, because it's like, it's a bit mad sometimes, you know. You go from one sound to the other, you know. Um, and it can throw your ears a little bit, I think. But for me, I like that. But I don't know if everybody likes that. So I always thought um, most people would just love five songs and then hate the other five songs. You know, it's one of those. It's like Marmite. You guys don't have Marmite here, though, do you? It's uh, like a spread. And in England, there's this, uh, the commercial for it is like, you either love it or you hate it. But it doesn't make it bad. It means it's good. And I prefer it if people, um, you know, love or hate my music, but don't feel indifferent, because otherwise I'm not doing a good job. But Super Heavy was, was like that. Mick Jagger, um, obviously, is one of the most amazing artists of all of our time. I mean, and my parents, and before that, and you know, he's he's a pretty amazing guy. Um, he writes in a very specific way that I wish I could write like that. But Mick will create like he will create a scene, like, like he's painting something. Um, Dave said that to me one day, and I thought, that is exactly right. It's like he's painting like a Monet or something. Um, there was one song on there called I Don't Mind, and he starts talking about, um, he says, out by the desolate shore, um, there's horses and there's children and there's dogs and there's all this stuff in his lyrics. Like, he sees this image, and it, it takes you into his world. He does that in one way. Now Damien, Damien Marley, he does it in another way, but just the same, just the same intensity with his lyrics. I mean, God, he's, he's amazing. It's interesting to sit in the middle, literally in the middle, <laughs> of these two people creating these, you know, stories. And, and then I have to try and add something to it that's not going to be ruining it. Oh. That's the worst, <laughs> the worst job ever. But it, it, was, it was quite cool. You know, I had to up my game a little bit, whatever my game is. God, I'd love to do some shows with Super Heavy, that'd be great. Yeah. I don't think that will ever happen, but... I think it was just a creative, a creative project. It's an album that's now going to be there forever, yeah. which is nice. Um, I would love to have done some shows, but it's practically impossible to get five different people with five different careers in one place at one time. The fact that we managed to do it to make the record was a miracle.